good morning friends i hope everyone is sharing on well today i wanted to do a video about uh, how to fix wi-fi from the comments just let me show you from the comments i've noted that most people are complaining about the other six not working this one uh -huh. as you can see this comment how can i get internet on my hackintosh it's not working uh, and then apart from that also i also have these other issues the updated one here as you can see it is not working for me uh, then all the other information so so guys i've come to show a different fix on how to maneuver through the wi-fi issue and in this one i'll be using the heliport app as i know you've recently had it from me from my previous channel that was banned so the heliport app uh, heliport app as you can see here is the GitHub for the Open Intel Wireless. Credit to them for the good work they are doing. So, in this tutorial, we shall need two applications. One is the Heliport, and two is the IPWM. So, I'll provide the link of uh, this website in the description below. So, first things first, as you can see, I'm in the Heliport uh, GitHub repo. So, to download it, just scroll through. Let me go full screen. I'm using the Arc browser. So I'm now full screen. So as you can see, on your right hand side, there's a section called releases here. So for you to download the application, just go to the releases and click uh, on the version 1.4.1 or the latest that is there. So I'll click on it. As you can see, 1.4.1 is the latest. There are other versions, but this is the latest. So just click the dot dmg file it's 8 mb so that's a very small file so after downloading the heliport app uh, you now come to this section the ipwm just let me go back for recap so that you guys can understand exactly what i'm saying after downloading the heliport app which we went to this uh, github repo then to the release section you now go to the next section which is downloading the ipwm cake so here we shall download it from here intel wi-fi client for ipwm this will redirect us to the github repo for the ipwm cake so click on it after clicking on it uh, just as you did with the heliport go to the right hand section under the releases then click on the version 2.3.0 then here there are ver there are various versions as you guys already know the airport ipwm and the ipwm cakes are, are developed by the same developer so in this case we shall not be downloading the airport ipwm we shall be downloading the ipwm which is usually the last cake as you can see the ipwm version 2.3.0 stable cake so click on it it's 14.4 megabytes is a very small file just let it download once it has finished show in finder then i'll just i'll move it to the heliport here then i'll do away with the airport so these are the two files you need guys the itwm version 2.3.0 then the heliport I've already shown you how to download it so no need to worry if you still don't know how to do that just review the video again and you'll get a clear concept on how to do that so first things first just click right click on the ipwm case then click on open that will extract the file as you can see here is the cakes this is the cakes you need so just copy this case using any application you can mount your efi for me in this case i'll just use the ESP Mounter Pro because it is quite easier. Then navigate to the cakes folder. Then I'll remove all cakes that are not uh, 
that are for Wi-Fi, all fixed, then I'll paste my ITWM fixed here. After doing that, I'll go to the OSH config file, then open with open co configurator. Then under the kernel section, I'll go I'll first disable all the cakes. There is the airport that was there, so I'll just click the minus button to remove it. So for these other cakes, because I'm just doing an illustration, I'll not remove them. So for these two other cakes that you are seeing, the airport, ITWM, Montreal, and Digital, I've not removed them, but I've disabled them. That means they are not working. As you can see, this is the enabled section. Any cake that is not enabled will not work. That is why you guys see I have two, the Digital and Montreal, and my Wi-Fi was working because I had checked the airport ITWM for Montreal. So in this case, they will remain unchecked. Then I'll go back to the to the cake folder. I'll just close this, minimize. Then I'll drag. I'll drag this cake ITWM inside here. As you can see, here is the cake. By default, if you drag it in, it is enabled. As you can see. So we shall save our config.plist file, then quit open co configurator. Okay, now the remaining thing is installing the heliport app. Just go back to our download section, then mount. After mounting the heliport, what you need to do is drag in the application. I've already done that, as you can see from my applications folder. I already have the app. So after uh, installing the app, uh, as you are using macOS, you already know just installation is easy, uh, copying the application into the applications folder. So once you've done that, we shall now go to the final step, which is uh, adding the heliport app as a login item. So just open system preferences. Okay, in under system preferences, go to the login items. You can just search if you don't see it login items then click on it it will load directly it's under the users and groups but searching for it is a shortcut so and i love using shortcuts so that's why i've gone the easier way here we shall just first uh, unlock to make changes then input our password. Then click on the addition sign to add an item. Then in our applications folder, we shall look for the heliport app. Just scroll and look for the heliport app. Here you go, then click on add. As you can see, the application is added. So now that the application is added, we shall close here. Then we shall reboot our Hackintosh. So I'll see you guys on the other side after rebooting my Hackintosh. Then you'll now notice that my Wi-Fi, the one I'm using on your right hand side, just after the search spotlight is now not working as you can see but if you come to the right hand before the recording icon here you can see a wi-fi icon that is now the heliport as you can see it contains the wi-fi so just to show you let me first input my password Just give it a minute. There you go. As you guys can see, the network is now connected. So, Heliport and the ITWM cakes are now functional. So, let me go back here. Actually, let me open the Arc browser. 
so guys as we've already seen the wi-fi is working just i want to do a speed test so that you can prove but as you already know don't forget to like subscribe and share the video we are headed to almost 200 subscribers guys let's keep pushing i know we shall attain our goal it might take quite a while but we shall be there so so let me know in the comment section below if this method was helpful to you or not yes i want to know so as to know what kind of content to create next or what to fix if it's not working for you guys so as you can see my browser is up and running so i'll just go to fast.com to check the internet speed as you can see the internet is working but i'm not using the method i've seen i've used the second method that is using the heliport and the itwm cake so guys there is always a way out for any problem there's always a different solution so i hope this video helped you guys it might be quite long compared to other videos but i hope it was worth your time so i'll just want to thank you guys for the support for the comments you always give let's continue with the same spirit and i hope to provide more videos in the future i'm just having some difficulty my ssd died so i'm using a very slow hdd as of now but i'm planning to secure one uh if you also have one that needs to be tested or you have one that you want to donate it you can give me so that i can be using it for the test because right now i don't have an ssd to use for the test purposes so i thank you guys again for watching this video i'll catch you in the next one signing out